Hi guys, so in this tutorial we're gonna talk about how to find kth node from end of sync lay link list. So let's get started. Now there is one sync lay link list created with some dummy data node and uh, we're gonna find kth node from the end of this list. So let's say if k value is 3 right and it means we have to find the kth I mean third node from the end of this list that is this one right so first node from end is 50 second is 40 and third node from end is 30 right so this node we have to return back to the caller method the data of this node that we have to return back to the caller method so we have to write a java program which will help us to find the kth node from the end of singly linked list right so let's get started with back in code now For that, I have already created one class with name find kth node from end. So inside this class, we're gonna write one method which will help us to find kth uh, node from the end of sync link list. So let's get started now. Private return type of this method will be int and method name will be find kth node, which will be expecting uh, input parameter of integer type which has value k right now we're gonna create one uh, head of node type which will always point to the first node of singly linked list so the first step of inside this method will be we're gonna check whether this head is pointing to null or not if it is null then we'll be returning 0 to, to the caller method okay if it is not null then we're gonna iterate uh, iterate each node of singly linked list to find the length of uh, nodes so first step is let me give comments here first step is find length of link a list second will be uh, <coughs> extract the kth node <coughs> location and third one will be I trade then node again until not reach pointer will not reach to a kth node location okay so this is what we have to do here so let's follow the first step right so for that we have to create one current pointer which will be exact copy of head because we will not uh, we won't do any modification with head reference uh, we need this head for the further processing that's why we are creating exact copy of head uh, in current right and we're gonna use this current for iteration of uh, link linker list and we'll be finding the length of linker list using uh, this current reference now let's iterate this so we'll be doing objects dot non null of current if current is non null then we're gonna create we're gonna move current pointer one step forward on each iteration right and also we have to increase the length this length here so length plus plus let's create this length initially uh, length value will be zero so on each iteration we will be increasing length uh, by one <coughs> okay now uh, once the iteration of this 
uh, while loop is done so at that time we will be having length of linker list nodes and now we have done this point now the second is we have to extract the kth node location right so how we gonna do that <coughs> we will be uh, creating creating one x right or uh, location and we will be having length right so length value let's say is uh, 5 right and okay length is 5 and we're gonna search kth value as third right which we have discussed here k value is 3 length is 5 and now uh, <coughs> we have to return this one but how we're gonna find this so we will be using uh, for extraction of the location we are going to do this lock is equal to length length minus k so length we have 5 minus k value we have 3 right now it will become <coughs> 2 so it will return second uh, node location from uh, front right so from first uh, from beginning it will give us the second node location but we are expecting this uh, third one so we're gonna add one in the expression right and that will be plus one that will be three right so this is what we are trying to achieve here k plus one right and let's say <clears throat> if you are trying to find a second uh, node from end right so your length is 5 so this will this logic will work for all the values so let's say your k value is 2 and you are subtracting 5 minus 2 is uh, 3 right and 3 plus 1 is 4 and you are looking for second uh, second node from end that is 4 1 2 3 4 right and from front from front of single link list it is fourth node and from uh, end of single link list it is second see 1 2 3 4 from front it is fourth node from end it is second node first and second see this logic is working that's why we are using length plus sorry it is minus that's why we are using length minus k plus 1 and we have location here right so we have done this part also now we have to iterate <coughs> iterate the node until pointer will not reach to the kth node that is a uh, location basically to the kth node location that is that is uh, location value now we have to iterate it again so for that we have to reset this uh, current reference to head again because right now current when we exit from while loop current will be pointing to the null that's why it exit from this loop we have a condition here if current is not null then we have to, you have to keep iterating these uh, keep iterating this and uh, increasing pointer and length one step forward so this is null that that's why it uh, exit from this while loop and control will come to here so we have to iterate this current we have to reinitialize this current pointer uh, again current is equal to head again this current will start pointing to this node right so let me give you list here okay so 10 20 30 40 and 50 50 references pointing to null so right now uh, it was sorry it was pointing to current was pointing to null right so we have reinitialized this current and it start pointing to this node now current will start pointing to wherever head is pointing right because we have reinitialized uh, 
current pointer to head. Now we have to iterate these uh, nodes until will not reach to the location value. We have extracted the location value from this expression, right? Now uh, we have to use uh, while loop again, while, and the exit condition of while loop will be, uh, yeah, we have to use one another uh, variable which will be keep tracking the record of each location when we reach. Uh, this first node it will that variable value will be one when it reaches to here we will be uh, will be increasing that uh, that uh, that variable to three four until will not reach to the uh, location so let's create or int let's say uh, x right is zero so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increase x on each iteration and we're going to compare if x is not equal to uh, location right and uh, objects dot non null this uh, current is non null so we're going to increase uh, current one step forward get next right um we are creating new variable so instead of creating new variable we can use length here because we have already extracted location from this expression right now there is no uh, use of length after this line right we are not using length anywhere so we can reuse this length right so let's initialize this to zero again now instead of using x we can use length so when we uh, when we iteration it again in th for third step so that time length value will be we have initialized to zero right it will start from here so initial value of length will be zero now we are increasing length on each iteration and checking whether length is not equal to location if it is not equal to location, we will be increasing, we will be uh, moving our current pointer one step forward, right? So current is right now pointing to here. And uh, this length is zero, right? Um, when we have increased, when we have uh, done first iteration, so this value will be one and current is pointing to this only. And in second iteration, we'll be moving current one step forward. Okay, and look, uh, length value will be two. Okay, as uh, location value we have four, right? So in third iteration, we're gonna increase uh, this current one step forward, and this will start pointing to third. I mean, length value will be three. Now. Uh, length is not equal to location location value we have 4 and length value is 3 and current is not null because current is pointing to 30 so again we're gonna increase this this condition is true we're gonna increase current pointer one step forward so let's move current and start pointing to 40 now um, we have to increase this also so let's start pointing to sorry this length value will become 4 and now we, we're gonna check whether this 4 is not equal to location location value also 4 so this condition is uh, false right and if it is false we are using and operator in between of these both uh, condition so if first first uh, condition is false of the and uh, operator then entire condition will be false right so it won't uh, come inside this while loop it will exit from while loop and we're gonna return current dot get data but before returning we have to check whether this current is null or not object start if it is non null current right if it is non null then we're gonna return data else we're gonna return zero because someone uh, user might uh, pass wrong k value we have only uh, let's say we have only five nodes but user can pass 10 or 50 so in that case this value will become null right after in on 
completion of uh, iteration of link uh, linker list current value will start pointing to null and if we are trying to get the data from null it will throw null pointer exception that's why we are checking whether if it is current is null then you have to pass zero means in invalid input so okay now let's let's delete these parts here okay and fine now let's write main method and let's create object of this class find kth node from end list is equal to find kth node from end so inside this static method we we won't be able to access a uh, non static method that's why we are creating object of current class using this uh, a reference list reference we're going to access each of uh, member of or method of this class so let's i'm copying these uh, nodes from another class for that to save the time so we have five node right so let's use five only let's delete these these are just creating a dummy nodes and connecting them together right now what we're going to do here is we're going to call uh this list dot find kth node method and we're going to pass a uh, 3 here right so as we discussed here right 3 is this one and that uh that node value we have 30 so let's get this in one of the variable value or instead of this we can do if Uh, list dot find kth node value if it is greater than uh zero right so we're gonna print s out we're gonna print that uh, value itself but we have to extract this in some variable otherwise it will do two time call. value is equal to this one if this value is greater than 0 then we going to print value itself let's pass one math, uh, message get node from and is sorry value else we going to print wrong input and it will return some zero or something right so let's run this now see a uh, kth node from end is 30 so right now we have pass a uh, kth node 3 right we have pass 3 so it is returning uh, this one now let's pass 2 it should return 40 it is returning 40 right let's pass 20 here so there is no any um there is no any node and which has uh 20 location right means if you are trying to find the 20th node from end so you can see we have only five node there is no any 20th node from end so it should return uh this message wrong input value is uh zero <coughs> yeah wrong input and value is zero right so let's pass 5 here that is a first node whether we are getting the 10 or not yeah the kth node from end is 10 so this logic is working fine and we have done with this video guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for another videos thank you